With a quick signature and a round of applause, Brandon Provost's dream of playing college baseball just came true. The 17-year-old signed his letter of intent to play for North Central Texas, a junior college in Gainesville. He'll be the Lions' new designated hitter and catcher. I picked North Central because when I went up there, it just felt so comfortable. As soon as I walked up there, you know, I went toward the campus and I did a workout with him. And just never felt more comfortable in my life. Just looking at Brandon's offensive stats his senior year, you can see why any college would be lucky to have him. He led the team in RBIs, ending with 32. He batted 440 during the regular season, a tremendous climb from his 309 his junior year. To top it off, his defensive plays helped lead the Indians to the playoffs. This year he had a great season for us. He's been a starting catcher for two years, and this year he led the team in RBIs uh, and batting average. And uh, I know he's going to be very successful at the next level because of how much he loves the game and the way he plays the game. He plays it the right way all the time. My senior year here has been great. You know, I just had so much fun. We, you know, we had some troubles at the beginning, but then everybody came together as a team. We just had a great time. Scouts from North Central came to check out the Indians' third baseman when Brandon's skills caught their eye. Soon he was offered a 75% scholarship for both his baseball and academic talents. Lions coach Scott Harp helped seal the deal. The coach, oh my gosh, a great guy, you know, really energetic, just like me, you know, we've seen the bond together pretty good. When news broke of Brandon's commitment, even the foreign press came to grab an interview with this quick-witted teenager. Tengo un pregunta importante. Que quiere comer? See how it is, she's and it's going to be good deal. Pretty sure Brandon's humor will make the transition to college ball easier. But leaving behind his teammates, and most importantly, Coach Breville, will be hard. I know I'm going to miss him definitely, but he taught me everything about my catching, you know, so I thank him a lot. Oh, we're going to miss him tremendously. Catching is one of those positions that it's, it's always hard when you have to replace a catcher. Uh, and we've had him back there for two years. And then with the, the offense he provided also, uh, you know, like I said, he led the team in batting average and RBI. So we're going to miss him tremendously. Coach Breville says next year he'll obviously miss Brandon's talent on the field, but most of all, he'll miss Brandon's role as team leader. Brandon's leadership was school wide. He was elected the school's Indian spirit, a Port Natius Grove sacred tradition. Brandon was so dedicated to baseball, he didn't want to risk injury by playing football. Becoming the Indian spirit allowed him to truly support his school. The Indian spirit was great. I mean, it was everything, you know, energetic, pumped up, keep the crowd pumped up. You know, it gave me scholarships, so that definitely helped too. Dedication to baseball is nothing new to Brandon. He's been playing for 13 years. He started with T-ball at the age of four even playing up with the five and six year olds. We have videos of me hitting the ball in the backyard, the wiffle ball, and then just all the way to hit, all the way to now. From the beginning, he could catch, and so he started off as a first baseman, a key position on the team full of young kids who hadn't mastered the glove. He started playing select ball as soon as he was old enough. Brandon played the infield, including pitcher and third, eventually ending up as catcher. He played year round, enjoying the sport, never getting burnt out. When he started high school, Brandon passed right over the freshman baseball team and played junior varsity. As a sophomore, he moved up to varsity and came on as the backup catcher. By his junior year, he was PNG's starting catcher and became an integral part of the lineup. He started making a name for himself throughout the district, even being named to the all-district team both his junior and senior year. On the baseball field, he, he goes as hard as he can all the time. He's 100 miles an hour, you know, every play. Uh, he, he's a leader, and just by example, the way he works. In order to prepare for the collegiate level, Brandon says he'll be spending the summer hitting the weights and going to batting lessons. What advice are you going to give him to compete at the college level? To do exactly what he did in high school, to, to enjoy the game, love the game, love every moment that you're out there, and always go 100% like he always did in high school. Oh, that was always my dream, you know, always college baseball, you know, and after now it's in college now, you know, I want to go pro now. With his talent, dedication, and love for the game, the future for Brandon Provost is definitely an out-of-the-park grand slam.